Welcome back. We are here with Octavia and her four dogs, and we are going to buy a vet clinic for her, which is right down the road from the empty lot that she lives in, because she will not be living in that empty lot. She will be living at the vet clinic in an overhead apartment. So we are going to create that. And yeah, so we are here at the new vet clinic, and we are going to just start by thinking out what the floor plan is going to be. And I think this was the hardest part because I was trying to think of how I was going to, you know, use all these objects and also make sure that there was enough space for everything that they needed and enough space so that the apartment upstairs wouldn't be super, super small. Like, I didn't want it to be so small that um, it was like a tiny home because... Um, I am using Octavia for a legacy challenge and I need her to at least have two bedrooms so that she can, you know, have a room for her kids in the future. So the event clinic will have three rooms with the regular um, tables. I don't even know what they're called, like the clinic tables, the care table, I don't know. Anyway, it'll have a reception area, a bathroom, um, a three of those rooms and then two surgery rooms and then one medicine making room. And that will be the downstairs, including a backyard full of every pet thing that Sims has to offer. So we are just working on this right now. And also um, it will have a ton of pet toys and a ton of you know food bowls and a litter boxes and just everything that you could possibly need on this lot. So there is the reception area. It is kind of blocked off there. And um, that's gonna be the bathroom on the left there. And then I was going to make that the medicine room, but I, I decided not to put it over there because of how everything was shaped. But I was thinking about where I was going to put the staircase up to the next, um, the next floor. So that was important to figure out the the layout of that. So anyway, I decided to put it there, and um, then put the the checkup rooms on the left of the build when you're looking at it from the street. So there's that. And I just used these objects to kind of get a feel for how big the rooms should be while I was working on this. I didn't want to um, mess up the sizing or anything and then have to come back and figure all that out. So we did that and then I decided that the surgery rooms would be at the back of the hall here. So that was, that was for that because, um, you know, I feel like the surgery rooms should be a little more out of the way than the other rooms. The other rooms should be easily accessible by patients and their owners, whereas the surgery rooms should be, you know, a little more private. And then we move the medicine room over there and put the staircase right next to that. And I was going to put a little kind of entry to the staircase right there, but um, we will end up making the wall height one uh, one bigger medium wall height. And so that makes the staircase one tile bigger. So we are unable to do that, but it's okay because it still fills that little space. And so we are just going to make the upstairs apartment that um, rectangle there. And then there's gonna be a balcony in the back just because they won't really have a backyard because of the clinic. I mean, technically it is the back, their backyard because they can use it whenever they want. And also if they just close the clinic, there won't be Sims there. But we, um, you know, wanted that to have its own designated area. And I was looking for windows that were like the big arches with the little fences at the bottom. And that I couldn't find them. So that's why we ended up going up a wall height because they were for medium wall height. And I like those ones. So... We chose that and then we kind of replaced our arches and stuff with the medium wall height arches. And then um, just added in those windows and added in some more windows, just windows, windows, windows. Those are the bathroom windows, those little circle ones. 
and then we are just adding a door to get to the reception area from this hallway here and doors into the surgery room and then that little square is the entrance to the apartment upstairs that's where you'll want to lock that door to prevent people from coming upstairs while the clinic is open so i'm just trying to think of the floor plan for the apartment here where to put the bathroom where to put the bedrooms it's really not that large of an apartment but it is big enough to fit some stuff in and I do leave the second bedroom empty so that you can put whatever you want in it if you want to make it into like an office or if you want to make it into a second bedroom I don't usually fill up my my extra bedroom until I know exactly what kind of sim is going to go in it and so that is that on that so there will be some space for you to play with in the apartment you can even just get rid of one of the bedrooms if you want make it a little bigger so now we are putting in the windows and the windows are a little different for the apartment than they are for the downstairs uh, because the wall height is only low on the upstairs and something I found is when you're working with taller wall heights you want to make sure that you have a lot of space if you have a lot of tall walls and a small amount of space it does get hard with the camera so just watch out for that that is something I learned in the first generation of this let's play where I had three stories of tall wall height and the smallest lot available on the sims that was a mistake so anyway this little room in the back right here is just kind of a pass through to the back area and also a place for animals to relax just kind of a, a lounging slash hallway type of thing and I do try and use as much from cats and dogs as I can just um, you know to keep the theme there versus using a bunch of different stuff so I use the tiling for the bathrooms and the wood flooring for the rest of the build and I'm just kind of going through all of the objects from top to bottom and picking out some things. Just kind of trying to figure out what exactly I wanted the layout of this place to be. I actually had a really hard time deciding because it's a U shape. and But the U of it isn't really big enough for a lot of things. So like, I guess... Now that I think about it, if I put the door to the bathroom in a different place, it might have been easier. But anyway, so I am using Octavia to play test occasionally when I move something in a place that I think that it's not going to go like that. She can't she can't get by that. So we are going to move it over there. And then just kind of taking out some furniture that I like from the cats and dogs and um, moving things around I move that and make sure that she can get by there of course it I move that couch again but that's fine so we are just working on the different objects and kind of finding different lighting and there are no counters with this pack and almost all the curtains are for taller wall heights so that's kind of a bummer but we're all right with that um, because the curtains don't snap into place anyway so we don't put any curtains in this area actually because of that disastrous problem and yeah so I this is the final place for this couch I promise by the door and then we put the dog bed by the other door and the kitchen I was thinking about having it like wrap around or something but I just didn't feel like that that was enough space for it so what I do is make it kind of an like s shape so we turn that corner and we continue around the corner so that is the shape of the kitchen and we just put in the regular fix-ins um, also that is what is in the household inventory currently just a whole random slew of things I should probably sell her household inventory that is a note I'm going to take. 
And we are now going to add in a little trash can over by the front door and it's by the kitchen, so that's great. And then a trash can outside just because, I mean, there, I know there's another one downstairs, but still. I probably should have added more trash cans than that. But anyway, um, this is the bathroom. I did want to add a shub, shub, a tub and a shower. A shub. That's what you call the shower tub combination. No, kidding. <laughs> um, so, but I didn't want it to take up too much space. So we used that uh, university shower. And then we are working on the dining area. It's just a little table and chairs. Nothing too exciting. We do put a little flower on the table as well. There weren't any that really, you know, were good from the Cats and Dogs expansion. So I picked something else. Um, just a regular small little thing and then carpets because carpets are important and that carpet by the sink because it looks a little bit like a mat instead of a carpet and we will use an obnoxious fireplace and um, then like I said plenty of food for you know Octavia has four dogs so she is going to have food bowls and plenty of toys. I noticed that the toy chest didn't actually, well, when I bought one, um, it came with like one toy, it came with a ball. And I want them to have plenty of toys, so I bought some toys as well. And we are just kind of moving things around. I didn't want to make it too hard to navigate as well. I, I didn't want to make the, the house so cramped. So. I try to leave some open space in some places. There is the little office area. Again, you can move that into the other bedroom if you want, if you're not gonna use the bedroom as a bedroom. But um, that is about it for the inside of the apartment here. We are just you know, finishing up with a dresser and then some curtains. And again, a curtain debacle with the area near the fireplace but these these areas turned out okay I think so these curtains worked pretty well and also by the front door there but I couldn't really get curtains in to this room for some reason just this room did not want curtains um, it just uh, it was just they were not snapping into place on the left here so I just didn't put them in we just accepted that that wasn't going to work. And then, okay, I guess I lied about us being almost done. We do want to put a couple of art pieces into this, um, into the inside. I really didn't leave a ton of open space on the walls for decorations, so that was that. But anyway, um, we also are going to just put a little grill and picnic table up here and then a clothesline and a bucket for doing laundry and also a um, ton of planters so there is plenty that you can do on this lot and you can live on this lot while having the vet clinic so we have that and so we are moving downstairs into the actual clinic area and we are going to just put up some signage and then think about the bathroom area we use the stalls and then put in a couple sinks I wish that the stalls had fit more perfectly into that room but I don't really know how to get that to happen seeing as they didn't snap into the right tile but um, I do make sure that she's able to use a sink and the bathroom because they are pretty close together there there's like one half of a tile available so we do that and lighting lighting everywhere everywhere gets a light so we do end up needing some more funds from her household it only ends up being like 120,000 smolians for the whole thing is that a lot probably I was planning on making it a little smaller than it turned out to be I, and I mean the house doesn't feel that big but I just think that the whole 
the whole thing ended up being a little bigger than I anticipated. But that's okay because we are now adding in things to the downstairs, mostly, um, you know, comfort items and different clutter items just to get things going. We use that front desk and use two of these kiosks and put a computer there. But um, yeah, so we are just going to put some beds over here. Those do move in favor of a cat tree, but we do have a couple of pet beds for pets to sleep on and then some benches for the humans. So there's that. And then in here, we're just going to add um, another one of those diagonal couches for Sims to sit on. Also, Roombas. Roombas are important because animals make messes. Also, um, that bathroom, outside bathroom area there. I know that we already have a bathroom, but I figured it wouldn't hurt to have another bathroom because Sims seem to always need to use the bathroom. And just some cute little paw prints leading up to the front desk there. And then little tiny paw print mats for the other rooms. And then we will go into actually decorating in just a moment once I get my bearings and figure out what the plan is here. Because we have filled up quite a bit of space, but I did want to make sure that we used as many of the cats and dogs items as possible. So we're just putting posters in every room and, you know, just kind of livening up the place. And then curtains. Curtains, everywhere gets a curtain and these curtains fit nicely into the medium wall height. So that's good. And then we want to add this cute little detail above the door before we go in to our outside area, we are just gonna add a couple of picnic tables around this fancy, um, I don't even know what that is. Is it a monument, I guess? It's a statue, but I, I don't know what you call it. And then I'm just getting out all of the outdoor pet items. Those aren't where they are going to be, but we're just taking them out for a second and adding some more pet supplies down here. We're adding in the food bowls and the cat tree just so that the pets can have somewhere to play. And yeah, because there's gonna be a lot of animals around here, so I want them to have plenty of things to do. We do add some storage in the medicine room, and um, I was gonna add a little crate, but it, I couldn't really find a place to put it. I didn't wanna put it outside. So then we are going to add in some outside lighting just to, you know, it's, it's really not enough. Like, I feel like if there's never enough outside lighting, but we are going to do our best here and add in again some toy boxes and a ton of toys to put in the toy boxes before setting up this obstacle course type deal. And I turn move objects off in order to do this so that everything lines up, you know, pretty good. So I line them up and then just kind of make it as if it like flows into the next thing. So you go through one hoop, the next hoop, the next hoop, and then you go up the ramp and then go through the weaving thingies and then and on the platform and then the little tubes to play in over there and then I just add some terrain paint to kind of show like the path and um, you know the well-worn path of the you know that the animals have taken and yeah so there is some terrain paint and also a little bit of terrain paint at you know some of the entrances and exits just to kind of show that there has, you know, been some foot traffic. And then we are going to go into the actual rooms here and add in some clutter items, some uh, cabinets and some sinks, just to make it look more like an actual clinic. So that, um, you know, even though you don't really need these items, I think that they do a little something for the realism. And then our last thing, we'll be adding in the um, wall trims. I didn't want to use the really chunky one. I thought that it looked way too big. So we didn't use that one. And um, I ended up having to try and move objects back on so that I didn't lose my curtains. Don't ask me why that 
happened. Also, I needed to make a break in the fence in order to not, you know, in order to be able to put things over here and also not have it up on the fence. You know, having things snap into place is really, really tough. So anyway, that is the last part of the build. We um, are going to start the next Let's Play in this build and Octavia and her dogs will be living here. So that is what is going on that. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one.